What is going on guys? Welcome back to another episode of SC Outdoors. Today we're doing some local trout fishing. Um, we were out doing some brook trout fishing. I did not have a whole lot of time so I decided to hit a local stream. Uh, this stream it just has a special place in my heart. Um, it's like I said local, it's close. Um, there's just not a lot of streams in this area that have this look. Um, just the plunge pools. Um, it's a very small stream really but um, it gets these deep spots and these brook trout hang out there and, and they hold some surprises, which is, which is really nice. Um, nymphing ended up being the, the biggest thing for this stream as far as success goes. Uh, I ended up throwing a, a mini mop on top of a prince nymph. The prince, both, both got fish, but the prince nymph I think did a little bit better. Um, even tried a streamer, got a bite on that. Um, but like I said, some surprises from this one, so it was uh, it was a cool little outing. It was only out for about two hours, so I hope you guys enjoy. I'm just going to take you right in there. All right, guys. First pool here on this stream. Just a little bit of um, backstory on it. It's a small stream, obviously. Um, a lot of plunge pools, which is really the only reason it's, it's fishable for me, because otherwise it's really small. Um, but... It holds mostly brookies. I have caught a brown here before, so I know that's possible. Um, show you what I'm using here real quick. This is my go-to spring brookie setup. I got this uh, mini mop from Lively Legs. It's kind of like a greeny weenie type of deal, size 14. Brookies seem to love that. And then I've got a, uh, what do you call it? A Prince Nymph on the bottom, just in a natural, you know, size 18. So, see what we can do here. I'm um, gonna hit this first hole. Looks like, I don't, you guys probably can't tell on the GoPro, but right in the middle, there's two different currents, but in the middle's a little softer. It's pretty hard on the current, on the, uh, on the bank. It's not that deep. I'm guessing they're gonna be right in the middle there. Uh, if there's one there anyways. Well, disappointing start. Usually I get a bite out of that, but it's all right. There's plenty to fish. There we go. Fish on. Nice. Little brookie. Get in there. All right, guys. There we go. First little fish of the day. Little brook trout. Back into his home here. See you, buddy. Get back in there. There you go. Very cool. Second run I fished. Just got it back in that back corner. Took the, uh, the mini mop. Got bit by something. Yep, there we go. Well, that's a nice one. We got a nice fish here. What is that? That's a brown, I think. Yeah, it is. There we go, that's a nice fish. Well guys, I said that there were there were browns in here, um, but this is definitely bigger than one that I thought would be in, in here. He got himself nice and wrapped up, which was kind of fun, but it's ready to go. Show you him real quick. Pretty brown. Nice size too, probably like nine inches maybe. It's huge for this stream. I think the best rookie I've ever caught out of here was probably like six or seven. This hole's always good. It's really hard to sneak up on them with that pine tree, but fortunately it looks like that pine tree lost some branches since last time I was here, which actually makes the cast a little bit easier. 
Not as much cover for him though. Try to get down here. There's a nice little rock ledge there that they can hide under. Ah, I missed him. Shoot. That was the cast too. Maybe he'll come back. There we go. Fish on. Oh, it's a nice brookie. Ah, come on. That's three straight miss, miss fish. Well, we're gonna climb up into that. Um, it gets real tight here for a little bit, but it's pretty much the last of the, the good fishing or at least good deep pools. So it's hard not to do it, but it's, it sucks. We're gonna be climbing under logs over, over waterfalls. It should be fun. Oh, this hole looks juicy. Oh, there we go. That's a nice fish. Brown. Let's go. Got him. Really nice brown trout here. Look at the size of that fish. It's probably like 12 inches. That's insane. Let's stick him up here so we can go back in this hole. There you go, buddy. Man, that was a bit unexpected. It's just insane what these brown trout can do. I know they're not great for the brook trout, um, or not good at all, really, but I don't think it's anything you can stop at this point, but it's just insane how far up these fish move because this is past quite a few waterfalls. I mean, to get up here, it's, uh, it's kind of crazy. There we go, another fish on. This is a brookie. There we go. He took the print. One of the few that have today. All right guys, so a brown and a brook out of this out of this little run. They've gotta be stacked in this hole. It's definitely the deepest one I've found on this stream. There he is, pretty brooky. See you buddy. Yep, another one, Brookie, again on the prints, like I said, they got to be stacked in there, all right, again, like to get them back into their hole, there he is, still got a little red on him, such a pretty fish. 
See you, buddy. Back up and there he goes. There we go. Nice. Little Berkey. This guy took the uh, mini mop. He came off. Let's get him out of here. Smallest fish of the day. Probably, maybe the last fish of the day. Not going too much farther. I have never gone this high up. Um, I kind of thought the, uh, the water skinnied up pretty good, but found another, another good run. Oh, there we go. Nice brown. Oh, he came off. He hit this streamer. I was getting ready to pull up from my next swing and he ate it. I was not ready for that. So just to catch up, I, I was nymphing this run, moved up, caught my last brookie that you saw, but this looked too good. I didn't get anything. So I decided to come back down with a streamer, this brown and white streamer. Brown hit it. Man, I thought something might in there, and there's a good rock ledge under there too. I want to kind of twitch this by. So maybe there's another one that'll hit. There we go. Ah, creek chub. Well, this is the last hole in fish, and I decided to throw the uh, streamer in a a few a few runs on the way down creek job got it this is where i caught that first brown thought maybe there'd be another i'll give it a couple more casts but this is probably gonna do it